Sony has recently made a splash in Web3 after announcing their own Ethereum Layer 2, Sonium. And yes, that is the same Sony that sells TVs, cameras, PlayStations, and Walkmans. After making their own mark in various market segments, they are now after Web3. So in today's video, we'll take a look at what Sonium is, how it works, and the important developments surrounding it that you should know about. As of now, Sonium isn't live, so we'll have to go by whatever info and plans the team has revealed so far. Sonium is an Ethereum Layer 2 blockchain that aims to bring Web3 applications to the mainstream by leveraging Sony's global business reach and IPs. It is developed by Sony Block Solution Labs, a joint venture between Sony Group and Startail, the company behind Astar Network. It is designed to be a public blockchain that is available for anyone to use and build on and has the usual promises of being developer, user-friendly, and so on. Plus, Sony is taking things to the next level by developing their their own Sonium apps. These apps will integrate with their existing businesses and IPs, creating real world use cases that'll attract new users to Web3. Through Sonium, Sony is also exploring ways to protect creators' rights, create new profit sharing mechanisms, and new ways for content creators to interact with their audiences. Okay, now that we know what Sonium is about, let's take a look under the hood to see how it actually works. Sonium is an Ethereum layer two blockchain. As of now, it's still in its testnet, Minato, and Sonium uses optimistic rollup technology for its layer two, enabling it to share the security of Ethereum's mainnet while supporting cheap, and fast transactions. To jog your memory, optimistic rollups enable Ethereum to scale by bundling numerous transactions on a blockchain and settling them as one on the Ethereum mainnet, hence the term rollup. If you wanna learn more about layer two and rollups, we have a video covering just that. But for now, let's get back to the main topic. At the core of Sonium's L2 infrastructure is Optimism's OP stack. This open source framework developed by OP Labs powers Optimism, one of the first optimistic rollups in the layer two space. The OP stack is modular, allowing teams to easily swap and customize components to build their own layer two blockchains. Not only does it inherit Ethereum security, it also makes it easily interoperable with other blockchains within Optimism's superchain ecosystem. This ecosystem includes blockchains like Base, Optimism, WorldCoin's WorldChain, and Blast, where assets and data flow freely between chains. Furthermore, Sonium has joined Chainlink's Scale program and gained access to Chainlink's industry standard data feeds. It will also adopt Chainlink's cross-chain interoperability protocol, or CCIP, for its cross-chain infrastructure. In an effort to bootstrap its ecosystem, Sonium has also announced their Sonium Spark incubation program. Sonium Spark is backed by players such as Spartan Group, Delphi Ventures, UOB, Pyth, Quantstamp, and more. Through this program, developers looking to build on Sonium can apply for grants of up to $100,000 per team. Teams that manage to join Sonium Spark can receive various types of support from Sony Block Solution Labs, which include marketing, business, technical, and financial support. Although Sonium is still in its testnet phase, there are already a slew of projects building on Sonium. These projects span across DeFi, gaming, NFTs, RWAs, and even SocialFi. Sonium has also partnered with Circle to enable USDC on its network. This partnership will establish USDC as one of Sonium's main tokens of exchange. Also, did you know that Sony runs an online bank in Japan? As one of Japan's fintech giants, Sony Bank announced that it has collaborated with Sonium to develop stable yen 
yen, a stable coin pegged to the Japanese yen. As stable coins are primarily pegged to the US dollar, the introduction of stable yen could offer crypto users a different denomination for fiat pegged stable coins. Although the yen stable coin may come in the future, Sonium has not made any mention of releasing a token of their own. But like with any new protocol, there's already buzz about possible airdrops and rewards for early users. If you'd like to participate in the Monado testnet, you'll first need to fund your wallet with some ETH from a faucet on Ethereum Sepolia testnet. Head over to the Sepolia faucet provided by Google Cloud Web3, enter your wallet address and click on receive 0.05 Sepolia ETH. You may have to sign in with your Google account to use the faucet. The link to the faucet will be provided in the description below. You should receive 0.05 testnet ETH from the faucet in a couple of moments. Now, you need to bridge ETH from the Sepolia testnet to Sonium's Minato testnet. Visit bridge.sonium.org and connect your wallet to begin bridging. Enter the amount of ETH to bridge and click on review deposit. Depending on the traffic of the bridge, there could be some high fees when you try to bridge Monado. A pop-up will show the details of the transaction. Click on initiate deposit and sign the transaction with your wallet. After the deposit is confirmed on the blockchain, you will receive the bridged ETH in your wallet when you connect to Monado. You may have to add a new network in your wallet in order to connect to Monado. For MetaMask users, click on the add Monado button at the bottom of the bridge page. To add the network manually on your wallet, we will be dropping the link to Sonium's docs containing the network info in the description below. After this, you'll be able to try out the dApps on Sonium's Monado testnet. One is the DeFi app Sake Finance, which enables you to lend and borrow various crypto. Or Super Bowl, a gamified options trading dApp for the degens on Sonium. While most companies in Web3 are focused on NFTs, Sony is mixing things up with its own blockchain. With a slogans such as go mainstream, it's no secret that Sony is trying to onboard the masses onto Web3 through Sonium. As stated by Sony, they seem to have a big plan in developing Sonium applications that integrate into their existing businesses. With any luck, this might just work as Sony's existing portfolio is massive and covers numerous consumer market segments, not to mention the IPs they hold in Sony Music, Sony Pictures, as well as their gaming wing, Sony Interactive Entertainment. So do you think Sony will succeed in making Web3 go mainstream? Well, let us know in the comments below. And that's all for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to like it and subscribe for more future content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.